Hello everybody and welcome back to the video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and well, it's been a while since I've done content to Overwatch. Um, for those of you that don't know, I've made um, two big reaction videos a couple of months ago where we reacted to all the cinematics. The video got over 13,000 views, which I'm still very happy about. And then we also made a video where we had checked out all the origin stories in one video as well, which also said nearly 10,000 views. So big, big thank you for uh, the reception those videos have gotten over time. Um, outside of that i had like one or two gameplay videos and it's been kind of cold since then yeah i haven't played the game that much you know the honeymoon phase when you get into the game for the first time and you play it like non-stop for like a month or two you know that was over and since then i've just only you know lightly um touched it again um but i have been getting back into it again a bit more over the past week and i definitely want to grind into it again more with the new season coming up in less than three weeks so already my question from me to you do you want to see more overwatch content like just gameplay you know from different heroes or whatever would you be into that gladly let me know down below uh, for today as a little bit of a bonus video yeah i've been honestly kind of struggling to um think what i want to do for content at the moment we're going to be checking out the two newest origin stories that have been released yeah um, since we made that origin stories videos with the last one being live weaver which was like seven months ago since then we have gotten two new origin stories one for ilari the new healer and then also the new tank that i've only seen now thus far during the blizzcon uh, being played which is called Morga, which is basically the guy from, you know, from that one Disney movie. He even got the Your Welcome line, so, you know. Uh, but yeah, let's check out these two origin stories. Yeah, these are always are intriguing. I'm a big, big fan of the cinematic work that um, Blizzard has done for Overwatch um, over the past few years from what I've seen. And yeah, let's check out these two origin stories. And then, like mentioned, maybe we see each other again with more Overwatch gameplay content over the upcoming time. Again, let me know if you would like to see that. For now, though, let's check out the origin stories. Loud, huh? There are days I will always remember when the sun and the world. She's were very bright. difficult to play against. Solar energy filled all. When I play it. DPS, but only a few. I feel like she often kicks my ass. Power into themselves. What's this great design? These were the into warriors, but we call them the children of the sun. They aided our people in so many ways, as providers. Healers, and in times of danger, our protectors. I was always told I would become <laughs> a warrior. In those a shoes! Responsibility. But I had a gift. And that really shouldn't be an outfit to go to war with, but I guess it so, works. I, I think it was training. At last Damn. came the day they said I was ready to join their ranks and embrace the sun. Like, Zion, why is she 10 10? Like, I mentioned, I've just seen many people be upset with her gameplay. It looks very difficult to play against. <gasps> Shit! There are days I will always remember. Wait, she, she destroyed everything as she basically got her powers in full? Was and it killed my everyone? Fault? And no one knew the truth. Did she kill everyone with that? Power. I mean, probably, right? To this day, I still don't understand what I did wrong. But it doesn't matter anymore. Does it? it was kind of a lot I of damage to many people, huh? What I've done. Because I am Iliari, and I oh. am the last child. Of the sun. That's the first time I've heard the name pronounced that way, which is probably the correct way to pronounce it though. Wait, how did you say it? She she, she didn't she, she she had the L salad, right? I am Iliari. Iliari, as if there's another I in there. Iliari. Okay, that's interesting. That's the first time I hear the name pronounced that way, but definitely seems like the more correct way to do it. So, her origin is that she basically, like, eradicated half of her people when she got her powers. And now it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> because she's Iliari. That, that's kind of funny. But this face is so funny. She's like, oops, I, I did, oopsie, I did that. But, like, what even happened here? They all gave her power? Or, like, she was chosen to be, like, the one to represent them? Everybody, like, 
what are they doing here? They're all in, in, you know, all connected. Are they giving her their power? I mean, either way, the, the way it looks like, she just explodes and everybody dies, right? Right? I mean, you don't see anything. Maybe the power was so strong that they literally just turned into dust. I still don't understand what I did wrong. I mean, to be fair, what did she do wrong? I mean, what did she even do? How did the explosion even happen? That's actually kind of intriguing because I remember when watching these other origin stories, I was kind of like, this didn't really feel like an origin about this character. It was more, you know, I don't know, just a little look back at... You know, it's just, some of them just didn't feel as, like, you know, when I hear the word origin story, I really want to know, okay, how did this character become to be? And this is a good way to showcase the origin of this character, you know? It's a big, you know, a big showcase. Um, yeah, so gladly clear me up about what actually happened there. Holy shit, that's insane. Uh, once again, I've, I've said it so many times, the Overwatch universe, um, even though I've been now so new to it, a full-fledged out show for it would be like an arcane style, especially now with season two announced for next year. It would be insane. And I'd absolutely watch it, okay? The potential is so insane. So many characters, so many stories you could tell on the big screen. I hope one day Blizzard finally goes for that, okay? Iliari, okay, that's a that's a cool origin story. Again, gameplay-wise, I haven't played her that much yet. I actually find her quite difficult to play, but I keep getting my ass about her, like mentioned, so <laughs> there's that. Um let's move on to oh boy. Is that is it pronounced Morga? Probably not. We we probably hear it in the video. Um again, he reminds me so much of the Rock's character from the one Disney movie, the newer one, like Mitch even has the same voice line in there, so you know. It's like it's definitely also probably a bit of a reference to that. Um, I have seen just very, very barely. I don't think he's on a live server yet, at least from what I've seen. I've seen him during the. I've seen him in game when um, Lissa Rufin played Overwatch at BlizzCon, which was really, really funny. So let's look at the origin story of the new hero whose name we'll hopefully hear pronounced in a couple of moments. What a day. It's good to be alive. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. <laughs> I wasn't always the friendly, carefree guy you see before you today. <laughs> I used to take things very seriously. I never had time for fun. Jesus! How do you survive that? I was like, why are you sending an open field like that, even? Something had to change. I needed to work on me. Who's that? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> now I've got a whole new outlook on life. I realized that it's okay to put myself first. Found out that I have a knack for bringing people together. <laughs> and I learned how to let loose with friends. Oh, wait, he's a villain? Oh. <laughs> uh, I work hard. Oh. And I play hard. Oh, okay. So, I only have one question for you. Ready to have some fun? His design seems so friendly and happy. I, I didn't even know that he's apparently a villain. Like on the villain side of things. Okay, wait, I didn't know that because the moment I saw the entire, you know, the moment I saw this, I was wondering, is Moira involved? Moira, one of my most played characters at the moment. Um, You know, we've seen her tune people into monsters before already so it was like instantly okay maybe mora is involved here as well and well then i actually get the confirmation here yeah doomfist mora sigma we got widow we got sumatra we got reaper now he's involved in the group too damn she, she's getting she's getting quite a team there huh Again, I've said it before, I said it earlier already, the potential on the big screen to have that side collide with Overwatch, it's, it's huge, okay, it would make money, it would make bucks, but Blizzard somehow doesn't really want to cash in on it just yet. 
Where is where is Arcane Overwatch version? Where is it? God damn it! But um, yeah, okay, surprise that he's a villain. I, I didn't expect that from the, the short glimpses I've seen. Okay, because again, I mean, even here, even here, his design feels more like you know he's that he's that happy big brother energy type of pal. You know, that just shoots a fun and whatever. You know. But crazy though, what they turned him into. I mean, to be fair, he, he's kind of at fault though, huh? I mean, look at him. Are you stupid? Why are you standing middle in the open field while there's so much going on around you? You were begging to get killed there. But well, now you're... Uh, you know, you're a tank. A, a proper tank right there. Okay, that was a really cool. Also a cool origin story. They're, they're starting to make these origin stories feel like origin stories, okay? They're actually, you know, they're actually telling us how the character came to be. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, like which I remember that some of the other origin stories weren't that way. Um, okay, excited for this guy to drop the life service because, again, I, I don't know a lot of him yet, so I really want to see how he feels like and how his gameplay will be. Who knows? I mean, I do enjoy playing tank here and there as well. Maybe we have a new main coming up. We'll see about that. Um, but okay, little bonus reaction here, like mentioned, for today to finally get another normal video back on the channel. I've like mentioned been struggling a bit with that. Origin stories for the two newest heroes in the game. As mentioned, um, gladly tell me if you would like to see more Overwatch content, just just gameplay wise on the channel. I like mentioned did one gameplay video thing a couple of months ago, which did over two thousand views. So maybe I should actually just do that. Maybe just you know, the, the thing is. What can I do to make the gameplay a bit, you know, more exciting other than just edit it, you know? Maybe that's just solely enough, just some funly edited gameplay. Clearly tell me if you want to see that. Um, other than that, I will be live on Twitch in a moment as well, finishing uh, the Super Mario game. Uh, we've been basically live the entire week. We're playing Overwatch on stream and many, many other games, so gladly check all of that out. Leave us up if you enjoy my content. And yeah, other than that, have a wonderful time, have a good remaining day, and uh, start into your weekend. See you guys soon on my channel. Thank you so much for watching.